We're always talking about the long-term view. Well, on episode 307, we talk about the short-term. Welcome back to the Maluli Asset Show. I'm your host, Casey Maluli, back with you for episode 307. So where should you park your short-term money? The answer to this question was a lot different this time last year than it is now. There wasn't really a good answer for this question last year. A lot of people came to us and wanted to know, where can I get a two, three, four percent return on my dollars because I have all this money at the bank and it's earning nothing for me? There wasn't really a good answer. Some people in the industry recommended paying down your mortgage. Um, if you had a three or four percent mortgage, uh, you could at least save that on the interest. Some people thought that the stock market only went up at this time last year. And um, if you invested short-term dollars, you could just pull the money out when you need it. It's gonna be worth more and your money's definitely still gonna be there, right? We've learned that lesson the hard way this year so far here in 2022. But now there's actually a good answer to that question, although folks probably don't wanna hear it now. Short-term interest rates are anywhere from three to three and a half percent right now. And there's even online savings accounts like Marcus and Ally that are paying close to, to 2% for your money just to park it there in cash. There was an article from the Wall Street Journal, which we'll link to in the show notes out this week, that was talking about how it actually might pay now not to pay off your mortgage like they were recommending people do last year at this time. The thought process behind it is, let's say you have $100,000 and you can either pay down your mortgage or invest it in short-term bonds. Your mortgage is 3%, short-term bonds are 3.5%, um, it's clear from a return on investment standpoint that investing that money in bonds would get you a better return on, on your money. We think that making a decision of whether or not to pay off your mortgage based on what interest rates are doing and what short-term bonds are paying is um, not really all you wanna be basing that decision off of. It depends on your temperament. It depends on how you view debt. It depends on your other expenses. It depends on your, uh, how much money you have invested, what your withdrawal rate is from your portfolio. There's a lot that factors into that decision. And myopically focusing on uh, what short-term interest rates are doing probably is gonna drive you crazy because like I said, this time last year, the answer was completely different. Which brings me to my point being that there are always trade-offs happening when it comes to investing or saving your money. Last year, the trade-off was you had to take on more risk to earn any sort of return. This year, it's you're getting compensated for not taking that risk, but inflation is eating away at that cash and the money that you have invested in the stock market has probably decreased in value due to what, due to the stock market's performance this year. There's always gonna be trade-offs happening when it comes to where you put your dollars. And when you try and do too much with your money, whether that's squeezing some sort of return out of your short-term dollars or de-risking your long-term dollars, when you try and get too cute with it, it usually ends up costing you somehow. So. That is the message for episode 307 of the Maluli Asset Show. Keep it simple, line up your short-term needs with your short-term assets and your long-term dollars with your long-term assets. It really is that simple, or it can be that simple if you like it. Thanks for watching and we'll be back with you next week.